Hey, it's Azure Friday. I'm Scott Hanselman. I'm here with Stefan, who works on uh, Azure Websites. Hi. Um, what is Azure Websites, and why do I want to use it versus a virtual machine? That can be a little confusing. Yep, so Azure Websites, it's what we would call a platform as a service offering. And at the end of the day, it's about us taking care of a lot of the low-level internals and a lot of what I call sort of the day-to-day -day grunt work that goes on with just keeping a virtual machine or a server up and running. So we take care of that underneath the hood for you, and the whole point is that our customers and our developers, they can just concentrate on building their websites, running them, and scaling them. Mm -hmm. We've got some slides that I think are pretty interesting. So you talk about this virtual machines, and we'll have a whole series on virtual machines. Yep. I am totally in charge of that, yes, right? Yes, you, you own it, you can RDP in, you can party on it, you can blow it up. By the same token though, right, with a lot of power comes a lot of responsibility, so you've got to take care of what does it mean to be up or down, what does it mean to scale it out or scale it back down again, all of those kinds of decisions are, are up to you. Okay, and no one will ever update a virtual machine for me. Once I make it, it's, it's my responsibility. Exactly, correct. Okay, so then websites I assume that you, the websites team, manage those virtual machines for me. Right. So certainly at a, at a very low level, ultimately, like everyone else, we're running on virtual machines. But we take care of all of the low level questions like, what patch version of the OS are we running? Is the virtual machine running your site actually up or down? Do, do we need to migrate load on the fly from one machine to another? Again, we take care of all of that. And you just sit there, write your app in the various frameworks, .NET, Node, PHP, and a few others, and you worry about updating and writing your websites. So. so that's interesting. There's more than just scaling, saying I want multiple websites. You're actually moving them from rack to rack and keeping them right. separate and yeah, because, available. Yeah, because uh, at the end of the day, right, there are hundreds or thousands of virtual machines running around the world that actually are backing our service. And as you can imagine, you know, even if we do something as simple as upgrading to a Patch Tuesday patch, servers have to come up and down for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, again, that's one of the advantages you get from running on, on the Azure Websites platform is we'll transparently take care of moving your live workloads around behind the scenes, so you never see that, you're never aware of the fact that that's happening. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another thing called Cloud Apps where Azure will manage the operating system, but you have a lot of power. Yep. This, this thing kind of straddles the two, but that makes me wonder then, are websites like what I would call IIS in the sky, or is that oversimplified? Uh, well, it's, it's certainly a, it's a reasonably good simplification in the sense that uh, if your focus is I'm writing a website, it runs an IIS, it uses an app framework, the end, absolutely, right? That's ultimately what's going on when, we, when you run on Azure websites. The cloud apps, uh, granted, it can be confusing at times for folks, sort of, you know, what's the difference between just running raw virtual machines versus running something that's much more abstracted like Azure websites. You can think of it sort of as, uh, it's, you know, it's a mixture of, of, the, uh, of the two operating models. You do still get the ability to, you know, go in RDP, party on the machine, but you have now certain constraints and guideposts that you need to live within because it's still, it's sort of the first stepping stone of a quote unquote platform as a service development. Mm -hmm. And a good analogy that we were using earlier yes. when you were explaining to me was this idea that with a virtual machine, you really, you own the house and that means the maintenance on the house. Yes. So yeah, as, as the old joke goes, uh, we probably all dealt with uh, hot water heaters that have been recalcitrant at various points in time. Um, if you own the house, you got to go out and buy the, uh, the new heater, the plumbers, get it all plumbed in, hooked up, and you own all of that. Um, in the case of the sort of middle of the road where you're running today on a web roll or a worker roll, um, and if I switch gears and look at it from the point of view of like a Patch Tuesday update, that will be taken care of automatically for you behind the scenes, but you have to go out of your way in the applications you're writing, and they have to be very, very aware of the fact that Azure is doing stuff on your behalf, right? It's, it's much more intentional, let's say, in your face. And then when you get to the hotel model, that's where it's like, look, uh, we know that you're just here to run apps. You want to hang out by the pool, have your apps running, and you don't r really want to worry about anything up through and including, as we point out here, even cooking. So uh, you can think of it as, you know, we're, we're your room service taking care of all that behind the scenes. You just say, I want to run this app, you know, this domain, this scale level, just go do it and don't bother me with, with all of the low-level details. Very cool. That's a great analysis and a great uh, overview of Azure websites. All right. It's Azure Friday.